Yo guys, welcome to another video. So today I'm gonna be talking about quality, FPS and refresh rate in Dead by Daylight. So first of all, before you do anything, you kinda need to know what your monitor is running at or your screen. So the way to do this, you go to um, display options and then you go scroll down and you go to advanced display settings and here you will see the refresh rate of your monitor. If you have a 60 hertz refresh rate monitor, this will be at 59 or 60 here, and that will be the maximum you can go. Anything above that, you will have a bunch of options here, like I do. Now, Dead by Daylight is locked at 120 FPS, and this is a little bit sad for people that run really beefy computers with really high refresh rate monitors. You technically can set it higher, but I find it best to just keep it at 120, so my refresh rate is set here to 120 hertz. And you can also do this if you have an NVIDIA card, you can do this here, where you can choose your resolution uh, and your uh, refresh rate for your monitor. As you can see here, if I go to my second monitor, you will only have 60 as the max option, uh, because my second monitor is a 60 hertz monitor. Since Dead by Daylight is locked at 60 FPS by default, uh, you're gonna wanna edit some files to actually unlock it. Uh, so let's go to App Data. There, jump over to Local. Go to Dead by Daylight. Saved, config. No window, uh, Windows no editor. So head to the game user settings, make sure this one is unticked, read only. Click apply, go into the file, uh, go to frame rate limit, not FPS limit, go to frame rate limit and put this to 120 if you're running 120 hertz monitor. Now save that like so exit you can also just exit and save and then when you're done with that properties read only apply and you are good and that's basically how you unlock uh, your refresh rate uh, your fps now the other thing that i'm going to be talking about is a huge uh, performance boost that you can do to dead by daylight so dead by daylight is running DirectX 11 by default and the only way to really change this is to go on your Steam. I don't know how to do this on other things like um, Epic or so on and so forth. But if you are running on Steam, you can right click on Dead by Daylight. You can go to Properties and you can go to yeah, General actually and then you have Launch Options. So if you put line DX12 into your launch options, Dead by Daylight will run DirectX 12 instead of 11. Now I recommend trying this because it depends on your processor and your graphic card. And I don't know uh, exactly which graphic cards and which, which processors, or it's mainly about the processor, will actually benefit from this. So try it and you might see a huge increase and a more stable uh, FPS as well as uh, your game will just be more stable in many cases and if it doesn't work for you and your game r runs way worse with DirectX 12 you simply go back to the options and you remove this line and it will go back to running on DirectX 11. So that's something that I highly recommend and will gave me a huge increase in performance uh, uh, when trying this. Uh, if you want to know how to uh, show your FPS so you can actually monitor it to have a better idea if it's actually increasing or decreasing once you're trying this stuff is to go to uh, in-game and then you have in-game FPS counter and you can make it wherever you want. This is by default on off. So now we have determined a few things. So the last thing we're going to talk about is the actual in-game quality. So, as many of you probably know, <laughs> Dead by Daylight is very, like, uh, it doesn't have a lot of settings. It only has the quality that you can set to uh, low, medium, high, or ultra. Now, what this, what this means is essentially that all the normal options that you have in most video games today, like shader quality, shadow quality, all of that is baked into this uh, 
one quality setting. So when you're at low, everything is relatively low, and when you're on ultra, everything is relatively on ultra in the game files. So what I recommend is setting that to low, because this you can set it to anything actually, but set it to low to begin with, if, especially if you're struggling with FPS, and put the resolution to 100. Now we're gonna be going back to the app data folder that we went to earlier, and we're gonna go to game user settings. Now we edit this file and here you have a bunch of options. This is basically most of the things that you see in game like for example uh, survivor mouse sensitivity or uh, stuff like resolution. But the one we're gonna be focusing on today is these. These are the hidden um, qualities or, or different uh, graphical options that you actually don't see in-game. So once you change it from low to medium or medium to ultra or whatever in-game, all of these numbers will change. So putting it to ultra, a lot of these numbers will be higher and putting it to low, all of them will be relatively low. Now, the most important things to make the game look good or pleasing to the eye is animation quality, texture quality, and for better viewing distance, viewing distance quality. And those are the main things you want to be editing. So instead of going into the game and changing the quality right there, because even though you can't run the game at ultra maybe, at stable FPS, uh, changing these individually can make your game look way better and taking away options that are hard to run but doesn't have a huge impact on how the game actually looks to the eye. So editing these individually to find a sweet spot where you have good FPS but also the game doesn't look like trash is really worth it. So my recommendation is to go on low, if you have FPS issues and you want to have a game that looks better, uh, set it to low, go into this file and start editing texture quality, animation quality and viewing distance quality. Set them to 2 or 3 depending on your hardware. You can also play around with the other like post process quality, uh, effects quality, foliage quality and edit them to whatever you feel like you can run or feel like you want to have a better uh, setting on. Now once you do this, the drawback of doing this is that you will have to go back into um, this file every time you want to change it. And because uh, the in-game quality changes all of these numbers, I recommend you right-clicking when you're done on this file properties and read only because if you mess up and you change the quality accidentally in game and this is not set to read only uh, all your graphical edits that you did with e each individual setting will reset to whatever quality you set it to and if you have read only you can still change the quality in game with the quality option right here but every time you launch back into the game um, it will reset to whatever you did uh, while you were editing that file. Because essentially read-only means you can still change settings in-game because yes, uh, it will take whatever settings you have set up in the game user setting file once you launch the game, but you can still change everything while you're in-game. But once you close the game, that will not save to the game user settings file it will just vanish. So keep in mind, putting read only basically means you're permanently saving whatever you change manually or whatever is set in game at the time of making read only. So if you wanna make permanent changes to the game, like maybe you wanna change your uh, controls or your um, input bindings, or maybe you wanna change the audio settings, you will have to either read only, hook that away, change it in-game or go in that file and then change it manually uh, on each of the lines and they should be fairly easy to find. 
So that's what I do to run the game steadily at 120 FPS uh, with really good quality without getting like a huge um, impact on the, on the FPS. <coughs> anyway, if this was helpful, great.